So I wanted to investigate wireless charging and so I picked up a few bits. So this is one of these uh, wireless receivers. It's got a micro USB on one end and it's meant to be stuck inside your battery, uh, inside your battery, over the top of the battery, inside your phone, and then the cable bent over. I don't know whether they make specific cases for these, but this one's rated for its input, five volts and output one amp. Um, and this charging station, this wireless transmitter, is a wireless charging pad input, five volts DC, one amp. Now, I haven't opened this one yet. I probably should so we can have a look inside, but at the moment, I'm just worrying about the receiver because that's what I want to try and re recreate. Now, a while back, I picked up some of these. About five or six years ago, I've, I've had these for a long time. And this is the transmitter and receiver. Now, you throw 12 volts into one side and you get around five volts out the other. I think it's regulated with one of those ships on there. And five years ago or something, I was just trying to figure out how far that would work away. And it really amazed me, the technology. Um, lots of things still amaze me now. Uh, so I thought, screw it, I wanna make my own. So I opened one of these up and had a look at what was there. And essentially, it's just a big coil, right? So if I just ignore the fact it's got fairly complex circuitry on the bottom here, <laughs> Um, which looks to have its own inductor there and some other chips. There looks like there's a transistor, a few transistors there. And this is just on the receiver side. So it may be that it's QI compatible or something like that, but the coil is the bit that I was interested in looking at. Now, I design my own. So if you have a little look at this schematic, this is what I was aiming for. Um, and I did this based on loads of Google searches and looking at images. I tried to read the application notes. I'll give you a quick view of what they look like. Um, but the formulas and things scared me <laughs> silly. Maths is not my strong point, And I basically run a mile when I see it. I'm going to struggle to understand some of this stuff and I will try. But for now, I just wanted to play around with the concept. So the idea is that you've got a transmitter coil and you've got a receiver coil and you throw all your energy into the transmitter and that is inducted into the secondary coil, the receiver coil. So you get this kind of magnetic flux going around these two coils and that transmits energy. So you get that energy out of the other coil. Now, as far as I understand it, you throw the energy into your transmitter in like a high frequency way. So 125 kilohertz or something like that and then your receiver gets it in as an AC electrical current and you have to rectify that. So I'll be doing that with a diode and a capacitor um, and the capacitor sets the resonant frequency. Now that is the bit with all these formulas that I don't understand. So I knocked up my schematic and I did a PCB design. Now you'll notice on this PCB design, um, I said, I doubt this will work and I do doubt it will work. I also put a space for your PCB product number Let's have a little look and see if they used that. Well, no, they didn't. Um, <laughs> never mind. They put it down here, but they've got very small, haven't they? These PCB product numbers. Anyway, this, so this is the board I got printed. I got it made at PCB way. It wasn't very expensive. Um, it's not a sponsored video or anything. Um, I keep knocking them back. So uh, this is my layout. In fact, I can show you the coil. The coil is actually on the reverse because I figured if I want to see this stuff and I'm going to use this pad, then I should probably have all the components on the top side. And the coil is on the back. Now I'm just gonna readjust the lights here because I'm not sure you can really see that. So it's kind of difficult to see because I stupidly went for a white solder mask, but um, there is a coil there running along. So you saw it in the, uh, the PCB design, but that is the coil. So it looks similar to this, right? It looks very similar to this one that we just looked at. Now it's not as densely packed and it's not gonna have the same resonant frequency because it's not tuned. I've not done any of that. This is just a bit of fun. So hopefully we can figure out if it works. Now it's, the idea is, we could probably turn the lights back on. The idea is, and turn this one off. Uh, the idea is that it will be some kind of shitty add-on. So I've got this six pin header down here um, and it's got three volts there and ground on one of the pins. Um, and maybe 
it will be good for a badge if it's higher current draw than a battery. Who knows? It's it's not really meant for that. I just it's a tester, isn't it? I just want to see if it if I could knock something up really quickly. I mean, I've seen people online do it with a coil of wire and a USB. So how hard can it be to get something pretty inefficient? And that's what we're sort of aiming for. So I'm going to get some components and I need to find some little capacitors, some picofarad ones, so we can start playing around with it. But it shouldn't be too hard to get this up and running, up and running quite quickly. But there's going to be no real practice in this video, so I just wanted to show it to you and say this is what I'm playing with. And if anyone's got any ideas, do let me know. But I got 10 of these boards. Um, I don't need 10. All right, I'll see you next time.